Amelia Bedelia Bakes Off by Herman Parrish Pictures by Lynn Sweat Narrated by Grandpa Tom On her day off, Amelia Bedelia stopped by to visit Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. Morning, everybody, said Amelia Bedelia. Shh, said Mr. Rogers. Sorry, said Amelia Bedelia quietly. Don't mind him, said Mrs. Rogers. He's watching his favorite show, What's Cooking? I give up, said Amelia Bedelia. What are you cooking? Nothing, said Mrs. Rogers. That is the name of the program. Mr. Rogers was getting annoyed. Please be quiet for Pete's sake. Who is Pete? Amelia Bedelia whispered. Mrs. Rogers smiled and said, His name is Chef Du Jour. He shows people how to make gourmet meals and fancy desserts. Mr. Rogers turned up the volume. Don't forget, Chef Du Jour was saying, I'll pick the winner of my big bake-off contest. The best baker will get one thousand dollars. The audience applauded wildly. Mr. Rogers clapped his hands too. Wow, he said, a thousand bucks. That's a lot of dough. Not really, said Amelia Bedelia. A thousand bucks is a lot of deer, but there's no dough at all. Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers, you ought to enter that contest. You make the best lemon meringue pie. She's right, said Mr. Rogers. A smart cookie would give it a try. Thanks anyway, said Amelia Bedelia. But by tonight I will be all baked out. Cousin Alkulu and I are running Grace's cookie jar all day today. You two run a bakery, said Mr. Rogers. That sounds like a half-baked idea. No, it isn't, said Amelia Bedelia. This idea is completely baked. Grace had to go out of town. She left us her recipes. You'll do fine, said Mrs. Rogers. Call us if you need any help. Will do, said Amelia Bedelia. On her way to the bakery, Amelia Bedelia thought about smart cookies. Did they taste better? By the time she arrived, Cousin Alcolu was unlocking the door. Hi, Cousin Alcolu, said Amelia Bedelia. Hey there, he said. You look puzzled. I was wondering, said Amelia Bedelia. Can a cookie be smart? Cousin Alcolu shrugged his shoulders. A cookie can be rich, he said. I've heard that too, she said. Is that what a fortune cookie is? Cousin Alcolu shrugged again and said, Maybe so. We'd better get started. Then they went inside and got ready to do some serious baking. They found a big stack of recipes, along with a note from Grace. This will be easy, said Amelia Bedelia. Grace will tell us exactly what to do. They read her note together. Start every recipe from scratch. Grace. Amelia Bedelia scratched Cousin Alcolu's back. Scratch, scratch. Then Cousin Alcolu scratched her back. Scratch, scratch. That felt good, said Amelia Bedelia. Now I feel like baking. What's first? Cousin Alcolu read from the note aloud. Bake a batch of chocolate chip cookies, but cut the recipe in half. That's easy, said Amelia Bedelia. Snip. Cousin Alcula shook his head. You know, said Amelia Bedelia, I guess we ought to cut all the chocolate chips in half, too. What? said Cousin Alcula. That will take forever. I know, I know, said Amelia Bedelia. But we'd better follow Grace's instructions, or the cookies may not turn out so tasty. She began to cut each chip in half. Bits of chocolate flew everywhere. This is so silly, said Cousin Alcolu. These are not very smart cookies. Not smart is right, said Amelia Bedelia. These are definitely dumb cookies. Amelia Bedelia looked at Grace's recipe. Gosh, she said, this is unbelievable. Grace wants us to bake 12-pound cakes. Are you sure, said Cousin Alcolu. 
Twelve pounds is a mighty heavy cake. How many twelve-pound cakes does Grace want us to bake? She didn't say, said Amelia Bedelia. Her recipe is for just one pound cake. One twelve-pound cake should be plenty. Cousin Okula scratched his head. Hmm, he said. If we bake twelve one-pound cakes, then stack them on top of one another. That's it, said Amelia Bedelia. That adds up to a twelve-pound cake. Cousin Alcola, you are a genius. Amelia Bedelia found twelve pans. She mixed up a huge bowl of batter. It was enough for thirteen cakes. She found another pan and crammed all thirteen cakes into the oven to bake. You know, said Cousin Okolu, a baker's dozen is actually thirteen. See there, said Amelia Bedelia, you can count better than a baker. Cousin Okolu finished cutting all the chocolate chips in half. Then he read the other half of the recipe. Please bring me the salt, he said. Here you go, said Amelia Bedelia. She brought him a huge box of salt. That is too much said Cousin Okulu. I just need a pinch. Amelia Bedelia reached out and, Ouch! hollered Cousin Okulu. What did you pinch me for? For the recipe, said Amelia Bedelia. I gave you a pinch like you asked. Cousin Okulu rubbed his arm. I'm so sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. I didn't mean to hurt you. Now you've got a chip on your shoulder. No, I don't, said Cousin Okulu. I'd never hold a grudge against you. Hold still, said Amelia Bedelia. She reached out and plucked a chocolate chip off his shoulder. Then she said, Open wide. She tossed the chip into his mouth. Yum, said Cousin Akulu. Thanks. He finished mixing the dough and put a batch of cookies into the second oven to bake. Amelia Bedelia got three cakes out of the refrigerator. What are those? asked Cousin Okulu. Grace calls them cheesecakes, says Amelia Bedelia. We're supposed to put cherries on top. Cherries with cheese? said Cousin Okulu. Sounds like a yucky combination to me. Me too, said Amelia Bedelia. I bet if these cakes looked cheesier, they wouldn't need any cherries. They cut holes to make a Swiss cheesecake. Drizzled food coloring to paint a blue cheesecake. And planted flags to create an American cheesecake. Beep, beep, beep. Just then the oven timer went off. Amelia Bedelia and Cousin Alcolu took out the pound cakes and put them on racks to cool. Then they took the cookies out from the oven and had a tea break to sample them. You know what? said Amelia Bedelia. They taste better with the chips cut in half. These are smart cookies after all. It was worth the work, said Cousin Okulu. Now let's build that twelve-pound cake. Amelia Bedelia handed him cake after cake. Cousin Okulu carefully stacked each one higher and higher and higher. Is that my imagination? said Amelia Bedelia. Or are the cakes starting to lean? I can't tell said Cousin Okulu. Hand me that last cake, please. As soon as he put it on top, it slid off and crashed onto the table. Uh-oh, said Cousin Okulu. This pound cake got pounded. No problem, said Amelia Bedelia. Our baker's dozen gave us a spare cake. Bakers must know that accidents happen. Lucky for us, said Cousin Okulu. Amelia Bedelia checked the recipes. Hold on, she said. This is even luckier. Grace wants us to make a crumb cake. Let's just press these crumbs together. The two of them pushed and prodded until the crumbs turned into a cake. Presto crumb cake, said Amelia Bedelia. Yes, sirree, said Cousin Okulu. That is one crummy cake. Ring, ring, ring. Uh-oh, said Amelia Bedelia. Did we leave something in the oven? That's the phone, said Cousin Okulu. Hello, said Amelia Bedelia. 
This is Grace's cookie jar. May I help you? Hi, it's Grace, said Grace. How are things going? Almost done, said Amelia Bedelia. We've got one last cake to go, but I think I'll make it at home. Good thinking, said Grace. You must be exhausted. I am, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll bring it in tomorrow. I've got an idea, said Grace. I'll be at the big bake-off. Just meet me there, okay? Okay, said Amelia Bedelia. Thank you. Bye-bye, said Grace. Cousin Alcula began to clean up. I'll handle this mess, he said. You go home and bake that cake, then get some sleep. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. I can barely keep my eyes open. By the time she got home, Amelia Bedelia was yawning, but she had one last cake in her. It was an old family recipe that her grandmother had taught her. There were just nine ingredients. She mixed them up right in the pan, then put the pan in the oven. After the cake had baked and cooled, she cut tiny pieces off one end and set them right on top. Then she frosted and decorated her cake from top to bottom. The next day, Amelia Bedelia overslept. She was tired from all that baking. She picked up her cake and dashed to the bake-off. Incredible cakes filled the hall. Television cameras were everywhere. Reporters interviewed the bakers. The excitement was building. Amelia Bedelia looked around. She did not see Grace anywhere. Amelia Bedelia put her cake down on a table and went to search for her. At that moment, Chef de Jour strolled in Amelia Bedelia's direction. He looked grumpy, just like on TV. When he got to Amelia Bedelia's cake, Chef de Jour stopped in his tracks. What is this? said Chef de Jour. Is this somebody's idea of a joke? It's my idea, said Amelia Bedelia, and it is no joke. Then what is it? demanded the chef. It started out as a sheet cake, said Amelia Bedelia, but I was so tired when I baked it, I went ahead and made the whole bed. A smile came over the chef's face. It's so easy to make, said Amelia Bedelia, and it's pretty tasty. Really? said the chef. You can actually eat it? Here, said Amelia Bedelia. Bite into a pillow. The chef took a bite. He closed his eyes, and his smile got even bigger. Your cake is simple, he said, yet the flavor is complex. It's funny, but seriously delicious. Glad you like it, said Amelia Bedelia. Like it, said Chef du Jour. I love it. It's fantastic. Your cake takes the cake. And first prize. There was a huge cheer. Amelia Bedelia smiled and waved to everyone at home, especially the two she knew were watching. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers were speechless. Then they jumped for joy. See there? said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia is a smart cookie after all. She sure is, said Mr. Rogers. And with a thousand dollars, she's a fortune cookie too. The end.